Hi guys, today I will be showing you guys how to make chocolate covered pretzel rods. I'm going to show you how to melt your chocolate, dip and drizzle your pretzel rod. Here's what you'll need to get started. So I do have the wax paper, it can be any brand. I have a small bowl, a Nevro top cup. I have the regular chocolate and white chocolate, my spoon, bag of pretzel rods, and a box of Ziploc bags. You don't need a box. You'll just be using one Ziploc bag. So first I'm going to set up the wax paper. I only make about six pretzel rods, so I'm going to get a small section here. Next, you'll need to melt your chocolate. chocolate into the bowl you need to make sure that there is no traces of water on the bowl or any utensils that you'll be using today because it will seize up the chocolate you want to heat your chocolate and start with 30 second intervals so I'm gonna put it for 30 seconds first what you're gonna want to do next is check if the chocolate is melted So we know it's not gonna be melted after 30 seconds. We wanna to try to mix it as much as possible. Sorry guys, it's kinda of hard to do this with one hand, but we know it's not ready, so we're gonna go ahead and put it for another 30 seconds. Okay, so now it should be a lot better. So here, these little chunks that you have in here, don't think that you have to keep heating the chocolate. You don't, then you'll overheat it. All you have to do is keep mixing it all together and eventually they will melt. You don't want to overheat your chocolate. So this is ready to go. So now that the chocolate is finally melted, I'm going to mix it up a little bit more. This looks good. You don't want it to be super hot. So now what you'll do is that you're going to dump this chocolate into this cup and you want it to fill up like almost all the way you don't want to do it all the way to the top because obviously it's going to overflow but you do need to fill it up pretty high so it can cover most of your pretzel rod So this was actually not enough chocolate. I'm gonna have to heat up some more. So I did heat up more chocolate because as you can see, the cup only filled up like halfway and needed to be more filled. That's good right there. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. So now the chocolate is ready for the pretzel rod.
Okay, so what I do is that I kind of tilt the cup a little bit to the side. I dip the pretzel in. I give it a little twist just to cover it evenly. And on the way out, I kind of scrub lightly against the cup to remove the excess chocolate. You don't want to scrub it all off. You should feel like a glide. And that one's ready. So these pretzel rods, obviously they're not perfect. So you can see on some of them, they have a small curve. So you kind of want to see how you're going to dip it into the cup because once you lay it and it has a chocolate, it might end up like this. You're going to put it down like this and it's going to fall over to the side. So it's going to mess up the chocolate. So usually if I don't know, then I'll go ahead and put the pretzel rod down and I can see right there that that's where it's going to lay flat. So I just pick it up from there and then I'll dip it in twist it a little bit you have to remember the place that you're gonna put it down on you can feel it though then do the same thing glide some chocolate off there we go As you can see it's not showing the bottom it's all fully covered Tilt your cup a little, turn it, lift your cup up, glide it out, and lay to drain. So I've seen those bags that they sell like, I don't know, I'm not sure if they're bags or they're like little boxes. They're meant for you to dip pretzel rods. I don't like to mess with those because you have to throw them away, you have to keep buying them. And with the cup, you reuse the same cup. I'll only be making six pretzel rods just to not take up a lot of y'all's time. There we go. Okay, so now we have to wait for them to completely dry. So now that the pretzel rods are almost completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and start melting the white chocolate for the drizzle. And you do need a second bowl. You don't want to use the same bowl that you use for the regular chocolate. I only need four small cubes to do a drizzle for this amount of pretzel rods. So now that the white chocolate is ready for the drizzle, I'm going to go ahead and get another piece of wax paper. And I'm going to get my Ziploc bag. You do want to make sure to buy the Ziploc bags that have the corners. So now we're going to cut off one of the corners here of the Ziploc bag. If you cut a big piece, then you're going to have a very thick drizzle. If you cut a very small piece, it's going to be a thin drizzle. So here you have to kind of, you know, experiment with it, figure out how much you want to cut off so you can get that perfect drizzle. So here I'm going to cut off I don't know if you guys can see this. So I'm going to cut off the tip off. Let's see. There we go. Usually, I like to check how big the little hole is by opening it up. Or you can just test it with some chocolate. Like here, this one's a little bit difficult to open. So I'm going to pour the chocolate in. 
So I cut off this corner. I'm going to go ahead and put the chocolate in this side. You don't want to zip up your bag because then there's going to be a lot of air in here and your drizzle will not come out good. You don't want there to be any bubbles. So now that I put the chocolate in here, I'm going to put move the chocolate to this section. Okay, I'm going to test the drizzle sides. Make sure it comes out fine. There you go. So that's good for me. So now that I have the white chocolate in the Ziploc bag, I'm going to go ahead and move the pretzel rods to another piece of wax paper. And here what you wanna do is that you wanna put four pretzel rods. I usually don't do more because I've noticed that the more surface there is to cover, like let's say I were to put these six, then I have to cover this much more space and it makes the chocolate come out squiggly. We don't want any squiggly lines. We want them to be solid straight lines. So I recommend to do maximum four. You also wanna have some space in between the pretzel rods. You don't want them to be touching. You don't want them to be this close together. You want them kind of spread out, not too spread out, maybe like a finger apart. That's usually what I do. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to drizzle. So what you wanna do is push the chocolate all the way down. You don't want this bag zipped up. You don't want it closed. So you leave it open and then you kind of just push the chocolate down. You can do like a little test squeeze right here. Now that that's done, you hold it up. You wanna press down the chocolate with these fingers and keep it tight right here, like keep it closed. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm going to start on the left side and I'm gonna come over to the right side. You don't want to drizzle directly over the pretzel rod because it's gonna look messy. You are gonna have to waste some chocolate because you're gonna have to waste some of it like drizzling, starting to drizzle from this point to this point. So all this is gonna be wasted chocolate, which is okay because what we want here is we want your pretzel rods to look nice and clean. So here we go. So I'm gonna start here, start squeezing the chocolate out, and then I'm going to go to the right, and you start going downward. And there we go. If you want them to look a little bit chunkier, feel free to go over them again, which I can show you right now. So you squeeze here, you're wasting some chocolate here again, that's okay. Then you're just gonna go back and forth and start moving your hand down. Work your way down until it's done. Okay. Then what I do here is that I move these into a new piece of wax paper because if you leave it like this, all this chocolate is gonna stay connected to the pretzel rod and we don't want that. So right now while they're still wet, let's go ahead and move them over. So you just lift them and move them over. Okay. And usually what I do to not waste wax paper, like if I know that these pretzel rods still fit on this paper, I will go ahead and fold it. And then I will place the rest of the pretzel rods here and go ahead and drizzle. So here we go. So you want to squeeze and then go from the right to the left and go down. The more you squeeze, the thicker the line you'll get. If you squeeze a little bit, your line's going to be thinner. So now we're going to go ahead and move these. And here you can see the difference of where I squeezed a little bit more. I only did one drizzle. Over here I did I went over it twice. So here are the finished pretzel rods. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching The Jane Away.